Zwift Academy is an eight-week structured training program to train to run a 5K. If you graduated that program, you could be selected for the Zwift Academy run team to run the Berlin Marathon. My name is Ivan Alonzo. I'm 38 years old from Frisco, Texas. I think I'd be a great member of the Zwift Academy team. A little bit about me. So I've been running for about eight years now. I'm from Funagashi, Japan. Hi, my name is Max Rahm. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Germany. So for our first year at Zwift Academy, we brought on two amazing coaches to the team. Terence Mahan, who has worked 30 years as a professional coach with athletes of all calibers. A little bit of taste of speed for uh, everyone is a good thing. Our other coach is Jen Rines. Jen is a three-time Olympian in the 5K, 10K, and marathon. So the importance of putting the training plan together, that it's stressful enough to get a benefit, but not over stressful so that it doesn't mess with the rest of their lives and create an overtraining stress. And figuring that out for each individual athlete is, is what it's all about. I think they're a good representation of all the different backgrounds and lifestyles and people that are part of the Zwift community. So the first athlete that we selected was a woman named Naomi Fetter. <laughs> I call her the Energizer Bunny. She's just going nonstop and, and she you know, brings the life to the party for sure. Ivan's got a great story because he didn't live a healthy lifestyle. At my heaviest, I was about 250 pounds. He lost, I think, over 100 pounds. And now, you know, he's gonna be running most likely under three hours in Berlin. The next athlete I'd like to introduce is Yudi Kato. Yudi's from Japan. He was originally just a competitive soccer player, hurt his knee and had to quit. And that's actually how he found Zwift, because it allowed him to do something where his knee didn't bother him. Another athlete is Deb Zalisco. She's a cancer survivor, decided something she wants to do is run a marathon. I'm a very determined person, so if I set my mind to something, I'll work towards it. You can see that tenacity, and you just like know she's going to get it done. Next up on our team is Katie Sloan. Honestly, I just really, really like running. Katie is a well-known mountain runner and ultra runner through uh, the UK. She wasn't afraid to throw out a big goal. I think she wants to uh, break 245 in the marathon. Another young athlete we have is Max Rahm. For most of the people, they say, uh, it's boring, so you're just running all the day. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Max is a club level runner, and this is going to be his first marathon. With the pandemic, we haven't been able to get together in person, but we've gotten really good at communicating via Zoom you know, with six people who are all over the world. We're super excited to bring you all together for the first time. Uh, great to have all of you on the team. You're the top six out of like a million people that we had to pick from for this contest. I'm really excited to have everyone together. We're at about 13 weeks to go. The Berlin Marathon is a really special one. It's part of the World Marathon Majors. Um, runners have seen pictures of so many athletes like crossing through that Brandenburg Gate on their way to the finish. It's one of those things like uh, competing at the Masters or at the British Open. But the other thing is it's, it's known for how fast it is. It's, it's a race basically built to chase world records. Berlin itself is a big running community, so it's just it kind of all comes together there. The cool thing about being a part of the Zwift Academy run team, the sponsors that we have behind them creates this great support network and it makes this job that they have as easy as possible. Let's take like someone like Adidas. These guys are going to be outfitted in the brand new super shoes from Adidas. We're also working with Woodway. The athletes are going to ensure they have the best machine possible for their training to prepare them for race day. You know, it's the best treadmill there is. I'm so psyched that these guys get to have it. They're also going to be receiving Morton Sports Drink, and that's going to also be out on the Berlin course for the athlete. Hyper Ice is providing the athletes with the Normatex. They've got the Hypervolt gun that allows them to do some spot-on massage. Garmin's providing each one of the athletes with a state-of-the-art GPS watch that's going to track their heart rate, their pace, their distance, and connect it to both the Woodway treadmill and to Zwift. So that interconnection of all those things makes this the best piece of the puzzle because of the, the great facet we have with Swift technology. So it's great to have this collection of sponsors and it's, it's basically training just like a pro. So in terms of their training, Terrence uses a really scientific method when he writes the training plans, taking into account their background, time that they have to train for this marathon. For the first time marathoner, they don't know how they're going to feel out there and they're going to have to tackle those unknowns and hopefully make the right decisions to have it be a great experience. 
as we get closer, I feel more and more ready. It's just that extra 12K, so once, when you think of it like that, it's okay. <laughs> I'm very excited to be a member of the team and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. It's going to be a pretty special event and I'm really excited about it, yes. At the time, I don't have any concerns in respects to uh, training. I'm tired, not really in the mood to run. Well, I guess I, I'll take that back. <laughs> This fall, I'll be coming up to five years being cancer free. If I can battle with that successfully, then, you know, potential is limitless. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to building on that energy to take me right through to the finish line. So, yeah, bring it on.